So in this video, we're going to be installing the Aurora Store app from FDroid. By default, Lineage OS doesn't come with an app store other than FDroid. This is because most of the Google things have been removed. So if that's your goal to avoid using the Google apps, then this is what you want to be doing. So first, open FDroid. Once you open FDroid, it will have to update the repositories. It takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to try and skip ahead here. Once all the apps are up to date, you can then search within FDroid for Aurora Store. Simply click install and it will start to download. Once it's installed, you can open the app, but there are a few settings you have to do in advance. So I'm going to go through that with you. You can hit open there, or you'll see it in the app drawer. Click next. You have to agree to the terms of service in order to use that, so if you're not okay with that, then you'll have to find another way to install normal apps. I use the session installer by default, haven't had any problems. These are just visual settings. Then you have to grant three permissions. External storage access, the ability to manage files, you hit back, and installer permissions, hit back, then click finish. If finish is somehow grayed out, you can hit back and then forward again. So here you're given the option to use your own Google account or an anonymous Google account. I usually like to use the anonymous Google account just to prevent more tracking. However, if you have apps that you want to install that are specific to your location, like Canada or somewhere else, the default in anonymous tends to be America, so you might not be able to find those apps. In which case you can log in with your account, install those apps, and then change back to anonymous mode. So once you're set up, you should be able to find all the apps you would normally find in the Google Play Store. Simply click on the app, and install. You'll also be able to update any apps that are installed. I'd like to point out that by default here, you have a Google Play Services update, but I don't trust this one because it didn't come from Lineage OS directly. So I like to blacklist it. If you long press, you can blacklist these apps. So now let's go ahead and install an app. Simply tap, press install. Once it's downloaded, it should prompt you to install via the OS installer. Normally this is quite quick, but I think this device has a Wi-Fi problem. So we're just going to have to bear with it for a moment. So the installer prompts you to install. 
hit install, and now the apps are right there. You can open and use the apps as you might normally do from the Play Store. So that's the basics of installing apps on Lineage OS or Lineage for Micro G. To uninstall, just like so. You can also update again any apps that are installed, they'll show up here. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.